Hey guys, welcome to day 133 of my carnivore journey. I hope you're having a great journey yourself. And if you're struggling, you're in the right place because we can get through these things together. This is where I do my vlog um, every day. I let you know what I ate, how I feel. Um, I try to relay as much information I can. And, and if I think about certain topics, well, you know, and if you guys talk, sometimes you guys will sit there and tell me, hey, I'm struggling with cravings or, or whatnot. And that's a big one because <clears throat> not everybody goes back and watches all my videos. So I would say that even just off the top of my head, guys, cravings are a huge thing. Now, I'm not talking about physical cravings. I think that pretty much physically anybody's going to get past any type of sugar withdrawals and stuff very quickly. What I'm talking about is deep rooted habits, things that we've been programmed, things that we've just associated with good memories, um, things like either from our childhood when we had those pies or cakes or sugars or pastas, all the good food, good food. I'm talking what we thought was good food growing up and, and as adults. It's deep, deep rooted habitual stuff. So if you're, you know, if you've watching, if you're watching like um, some of these uh, carnivore channels and, and no offense to them, because I know that everybody means well, so don't take this the wrong way, but I've seen some carnivore channels where they just kind of seem like, oh yeah, all that stuff went away and I don't crave that stuff anymore. I love this and that. I mean, maybe that's them. I don't know. But for me, I'm, I'm, I still will see things sometimes that will trigger me. I think even just the other day I saw, and maybe some of you saw it, it was like this new keto donut. And it was just like, just try one. It was like on YouTube or something. It was like, and it looked amazing. And I'm like, Hey, it says keto. <laughs> and I'm like, no, because I don't want to do artificial sweeteners, you know, and I, I know what that's going to do for me, period. Um, and to me, keto is a step back, like from where I'm at. Um, if you're new and you're getting into keto, great, you're on your path. And eventually I'd like to see people move more into carnivore. Um, some people start with carnivore and then they move back to keto. I skirt the line. I'm sort of a dirty carnivore. Um, but I try to minimize like cheese and heavy cream and, and, and I try to minimize some spices as much as I can just every so often. And I also uh, like occasion, occasionally my skirting keto is sometimes a little bit of tomato sauce, like for either like a keto pizza or possibly even maybe some salsa coming up like those type of things. But other than that, I try not to do it often. So like I said, because again, these deep rooted habitual just triggers and it, there's nothing wrong with it you just have to learn to recognize it and then don't act on it that's the that's the trick i'm not anybody special i don't have special powers i'm not built a special way like i said for the longest time i thought i was built differently and then all these other people had these great mental powers and all this other stuff but it turns out that you know, you can do well at anything that you really try to put your mind to, okay? But it's also when you learn, right? And even if it's from somebody like me, when you when you hear somebody else say it, and then you say, and maybe it clicks with you, and you say, hey, he, he said that in a way that, that clicks with me, you know? And it may have been something similar that you've heard, well, maybe I said it in a way that clicks with you or resonates with you, right? You may go to another channel and they may say something and, and that may resonate with you. But no matter what it is, um, you know, as long as you, you finally kind of get it, right? That's the overall goal. But that's what I'm telling you is like for me, when I have those deep rooted cravings, I just have to stop. And remind myself that those are toxic poisons. I shouldn't say toxic poisons. I say tasty poisons. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's what it is to me. 
I have to constantly remind myself like that, like those donuts, those things with artificial sweeteners, pastas, the, the, the carb stuff, all the things that I used to put up on a pedestal and basically worship in the world of food. I have to look at that as poison, tasty poison. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, now another thing I wanted to remind you guys, same thing like uh, yesterday's vlog. If you um, if you have a story and you want to come on this channel and do a podcast and talk about your journey or things like that, maybe even you want to get on here and even ask some live questions, we can do that. We can do a live podcast. Um, if you're not comfortable being live, we can record it. Uh, I would like to do live podcasts. I think it would be fun for other people to interact and maybe ask questions. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you, if I have a guest on, would you want to watch it live or, or does it matter? Uh, cause I, like I said, I know some of you want to like, you know, interact and ask questions and things like that. I just personally think that if we have a guest on, it's always good to be live again, just so we can have some participation. But other than that, if you guys have and you really, really feel passionate about sharing your story um, and you want to get on camera and, and talk about it, um, hit me up. Again, I'll try to put my email in the uh, description down below. That way you can email me and we can get you on here. So just email me and, you know, remind me of your story and your details. And, you know, but anyways, guys, uh, as far as what I had today. I had a, so I had that leftover meat from last night when I did the burger omelet thing. So I took that leftover meat and I had a little bit of leftover pizza sauce, that keto pizza sauce I made. So I dumped the meat in the sauce, mixed it up. So it was like this really meaty, like meat thick sort of, um, almost like a spaghetti sauce at that point. And I actually made a five egg omelet and put that sort of pizza meat mixture in the middle and on top this time just so I could eat some leftovers and get that out of the way. Now, tomorrow, now that I got no more leftovers, uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to go back to having some meat for a while. Because anytime, in my opinion, like when I stray away from like a pound of ground beef or a steak or something like that, when I stray away from heavy, heavy meat and, and some fat, I, I don't, I feel okay. Like my energy levels are good. Um, but I feel like I, I carry a little more hunger throughout. I'm not as, you know, satisfied. Um, so I have to kind of power through that a little more. Whereas I would rather be more sat, you know, sa uh, satiated and satisfied, um, the next day by having meat and those fats and everything. So tomorrow I'll probably go back to having some good old fashioned, either what my, my one pound burger or, um, you know, or maybe a steak or something. I don't know yet. I hope you guys are having a great night. This is the end of the weekend. It's sort of Sunday, kind of sad. I always, I always hate when we get back to Mondays, you know, back to the grind as they say, right? All right. Well, you all have a great week coming up. I hope you guys are tuning in daily. And um, and also, too, I guess I should probably do some more inspirational quotes every once in a while. I don't want to do them all the time and sort of make it burn out. I, I want to every once in a while do one. And, and, and again, because I know some of you have messaged me back saying, hey, that quote hit home with me. So I do want to keep doing that just in case, you know, you guys. Um, somebody out there hits that right quote and it just has, it happens to hit them right. And say, you know what? That's right. And I'm going to do whatever. Right. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow, man. We're, we're, what is tomorrow? Day 134. 150 is another 30 day checkpoint. That's going to be a weigh in and measurement point. So we're getting close. All right, guys. Bye.